My next example problem, let's do a rectangular dam. That has a width of four meters, a depth of 10 meters, and a height of six meters. All right, we're gonna stick some water on here. I guess that needs to be a solid bottom. All right, so here's my water. Again, it's not going anywhere. Okay, this time I'm going to tell you that my concrete dam has a density of 2.38 kilonewtons per, I apologize, kilograms. And I'm forgetting all kinds of stuff. 10 to the third kilograms per meters cubed. There we go. And I want to know, find, will the dam tip over? Okay, interesting question. So, we're going to assume that the dam is um, even, steven concrete. Okay, we're not going to worry about rebar or anything. So, we're going to have the resultant force of the concrete, okay, and then we're going to have the resultant force of the water, okay, and if this tips over, which way is it going to tip? Well, it's going to tip about this ledge right here, right? So we need to make sure that doesn't happen, and this resultant force is acting through the center. Okay, so let's find some values. Okay, the resultant force of the water is going to be, let's see my base here, pressure is equal to gamma times H, which is going to be 9.81 kilonewtons per meter cubed times 6 meters, and that's equal to 58.86 kilonewton per meter squared. So the resultant force of my water, let's see, the area of a triangle, 1 half base, 58.86 kilonewtons per meter squared times height six meters and this time I was given a depth into the page 10 meters so my water is striking with a force of 1765.8 kilonewtons okay and it is acting two-thirds from the surface y bar y bar is equal to two thirds of six meters, which is four meters from the top, okay, equals four meters. All right, the force resultant of my concrete, okay, force resultant concrete is going to be the volume of the concrete, four meters by ten meters. six meters okay and then we're going to multiply by the density of the concrete 2.38 times 10 to the third kilograms per meters cubed and that's mass so I need to multiply it by gravity meters per second squared and this is going to give me 
five million and six hundred and three thousand five hundred newtons uh, newtons sorry so we've got a force newtons okay kilonewtons there is one thousand newtons and a kilonewton so my force resultant concrete is equal to 5,603.5 kilonewtons. Now we have kilonewtons and kilonewtons. We can compare apples to apples. Okay, so I want you to think about this scenario. So the water is trying to push the dam clockwise, right? And then the weight of the dam is pushing it back. This is the dam moment. And this is the water moment, okay? So what do we want? We want wand. We want the moment by the dam to be greater than the moment of the water, okay? That's why we want to stay in place. And I'm looking at the moment about this green line because if you think about this tipping, this is gonna be the last point of contact where it tips. Okay, this green line right here at the back. So I'm gonna call this point A, okay? So that's moment dam A, moment water A. Okay, the dam moment is going to be 5,603.5 kilonewtons, and it's a vertical force, so it is acting horizontally two meters because it's acting through the center of the shape, which would be two meters from A, horizontally, Okay, and then is that greater than, question mark, the water, which is 1765.8 kilonewtons, which is also conveniently acting two meters from A, from the bottom. See if it's four meters from the top, four minus, or six minus four is two meters. So yes, it is greater than, yes. So the dam does not tip.